What's up everyone, Justin here, back with a WWE Premium Live Event Predictions for WWE Payback this Saturday on Peacock. Let's uh, get the predictions show started up first. We got uh, five matches only, five, for a Premium Live Event. At least there should be six or seven, but whatever. Five matches probably will make the show two and a half hours or a little longer is my guess. I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't go like to three hours and 14 minutes because that's too long in my opinion. I know uh, AEW pay-per-views are really long, but they're 50 bucks. But still, they're too long. I don't care if they cost more. And AEW's trying to give you your money's worth. Over four hours. I'm talking about AEW's pay-per-views. Over four hours with a pre-show. And then a four-hour or like three-hour and 58-minute pay-per-view so that's almost like five hours of wrestling that's way too fucking long i wouldn't want to sit through all that and watch even from home where i'm the most uh comfortable watching you know, got a really really comfortable recliner and everything at home i still don't want to watch four to five hour wrestling pay-per-views that's just too long. But I don't expect uh, Payback to be as long as Wrestle Dream. That show was way too long. I didn't watch it live, but I did watch some of the matches later. And this show's too long. It's like 3 hours 50 some minutes. So here we go with Payback. 2023 payback up first let's uh they could book another match tomorrow on smackdown and put on payback but i don't think uh, they will so the judgment day for the undisputed tag team titles the judgment day finn balor damian priest will be defending for judgment day by the way, Dominic won back the North American title on NXT this past Tuesday. I was against that decision because Trick Williams only had it for three days. What the fuck? Whatever. And uh, how does that make sense? That Trick Williams had to go against all of Judgment Day. Like, what the fuck? HBK, why couldn't you throw them out? I don't get it. But whatever. Dominic has got gold again. And uh, Judgment Day has a lot of gold. The Undisputed Tag Titles. And the North American and the Women's World Heavyweight Championship that Rhea Ripley holds. By the way, no Rhea Ripley wrestling in defending her title on payback. But at least we get a SmackDown women's title match. That's good. Judgment Day defends undisputed tag titles against a team of, for once, not against uh, Kevin Owens and Sammy. Because that feud has run its course. I, I am kind of sick of, I'm not going to say really sick of, I'm just getting a little bit sick of Sammy and KO against Judgment Day. So this is a nice change. Cody Rhodes, Jay Uso are going for the Undisputed Tag Team titles. My prediction. Uh, Judgment Day I don't think loses unless they're going to break them up or start like a storyline where there's friction and they want to break up. 
but I don't think that's going to happen yet. I do think eventually they will like attack and probably kick out Damian Priest, I think, and replace him with uh, J.D. McDonald's. But I'm going to go with the Judgment Day to win and still be the undisputed tag titles because I'll probably have Rhea at ringside for them and Dom to help them retain. So Judgment Day, Finn and Damian Priest. Up next, let's predict a six-man tag team matchup. I wish it was like Extreme Rules or something, but it's not. LWO, Rey Mysterio, Escobar, and uh, either Joaquin Wild or Cruz will team with Escobar and Rey. LWO against, of course, LWO with Zelina Vega. They take on the Street Profits and Bobby Lashley. The uh, Profits of Business or whatever you want to call them. Uh, so many fans have so many uh, different names for Bobby Lashley and the Profits, you could call them. The Hurt Profits, the Street Profits of Business, uh, the Almighty Profits. That's a good name, the Almighty Profits. That's what they should be called, the Almighty Profits. So I expect Bobby and the Street Profits to win. I know they're going in this match as the heels. I think Bobby will still be cheered. Probably. Fans love Bobby Lashley. They can't. They don't want to boo him. I, I don't even want to boo the Street Profits. I like the Street Profits. I always will. I doubt I will ever dislike them. I, it's impossible. It's impossible. For me to dislike Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits. They're too good. And uh, they, all three guys got my respect. Forever. But I'm going with uh, Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits win up next. For the SmackDown Women's title, EO Sky defends against Charlotte Flair and Asuka. My favorite wrestler, Asuka. I don't expect Asuka to win it back. I really doubt it. EO has only had it. I'm trying to think. Did she win it at SummerSlam? I can't even remember. But uh, don't give the title to Charlotte. Where if she wins, she'll be like a 14 time or 15 time world champion. I would like Asuka to get it back and feud with EO more. Like a one-on-one -on -one feud without Charlotte involved. Because EO and Asuka only got one match on SmackDown one-on-one. -on -one. And, uh, yeah. My prediction is EO Sky wins and retains, hopefully. EO Sky is my prediction. Tag team matchup could be the main event, probably will be, but I'm going to predict it before last anyway. John Cena, L.L.A. Knight, yeah, team up for the first time ever to take on Jimmy Uso, Solo Sokoa with Paul Heyman. Roman might do a run-in, who the hell knows. Roman might run in, Spear Cena, or... Spear, L.A. Knight, and then the Bloodline get the victory. I would not be, uh, I would not be surprised or shocked if Roman appears. But who knows? John Cena, L.A. Knight could win. Definitely could win. I just don't know if they will. They should, but who knows? I'm going to just say John Cena, L.A. Knight win. This match is a toss-up. Either team could win. Of course, a bloodline could win by Roman returning. Or 
something. I don't know. But John Cena and LA Knight are my predictions. Final matchup for Payback. That I'm not Payback for Fastlane. Payback was a month ago. Fastlane. Main event. At least I'm predicting it last, so it's the main event. I, again, the tag match might be the main event, but the World Heavyweight Championship should be the main event. Seth freaking Rollins defends against Nakamura for the World Heavyweight Championship in a last man standing matchup. This will be fucking awesome. This will be the match of the night. The women might also steal the show. The women's uh, triple threat could be the match of the night. But I think Rollins and Nakamura, last man standing, will be the match of the night. I hope the women steal the show. And uh, I hope the women are the match of the night. But Nakamura Seth also could be. Seth freaking Rollins defends the World Heavyweight Championship. Again, it's a last man standing. And I don't think Rollins is going away to get a back surgery or to fix his back or rehab or go away to rehab his injury. I don't think he will. Now, if he does lose the title, I'll think right away, I'll think to myself, holy shit, he's really hurt and he needs time off. Like, time away, not he's going to retire and never return. There's no way. He's uh, too good and he's too much in his prime for him to want to retire. I mean, Rollins is only 37 years old. He could do this another 10 years and be in his prime for another 10 years. Look at the guy. He takes care of his body. He's a hell of an athlete. Rollins, one of the best in the world. If I was starting a wrestling company and I could pick between Okada, Omega, Rollins, I'd pick Rollins. I think he's better than both of them, in my opinion. Rollins is one of the best in the world. Might be number one out of all male wrestlers. I think Seth freaking Rollins is at the top of the list. He's that good. So my prediction. Seth freaking Rollins wins and retains the title. This is Nakamura's second title shot on a premium live event. If he doesn't win... Uh, I don't know where the hell you go with him. I don't know how you book him after he would lose again. I don't know. Book him to go to Smack... Put him on SmackDown, maybe? Have him take the U.S. title from Rey Mysterio? I don't know what I'd do with Nakamura if he loses. If he does win, I think Rollins is injured. But my prediction, I'm sticking with one of my favorites to watch, one of my favorite wrestlers, Seth freaking Rollins, wins and retains World Heavyweight Championship at Payback. Hope you enjoyed my Payback 2023 20, predictions. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be on Twitter or X. I'll be on X. Live tweeting. Call it whatever you want. X, Twitter. I'll be tweeting uh, the premium live event live as it happens at WWE NXT Guy on X. Bye for now.